Hello! This is going to be another project share. I want to play around with some dies that I've been that I had in my stash for so many moons, so many years, and I never had a chance to play around with them. So I have time now, so why not now? So I have two samples. I have just the regular one. Um, this is actually the one here is actually not cardstock. It's this paper that I like to um, play around with with my samples. So. That's why you might see um, this type of design with my paper, with my samples. And the only thing I went wrong with this one is I should have made it sturdier. Sturdy, not sturdier, but the sturdy period. Um, so, you know, with samples I can just give them out or um, I can just hold on to them. So this is not a very sturdy sample, but I love it. I love how it came out. I can always redo it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much an old die that I ordered online many moons ago. Never had a chance to play around with it. So this was my opportunity, opportunity to get it done. And there's tutorial online on how to assemble this. It's either called a treat box or a lunch box. So this, this on YouTube, just search both. And it, it will come up. So again, it's... it's Ladies, great ladies who have great tutorials on how to put it together. So I'm, I'm not gonna. If I ask, I will. But pretty much, they have very, they have excellent tutorials on how to assemble, how to cut and assemble the treat box slash lunch box, McDonald treat box. I don't know the exact name for it, but we're gonna call it treat box slash lunch box. And let me show you all the dies that I used. Okay, this tag. This tag is actually from a purse die that I'm going to show you. There are so many of these tags out that you can use, but this is actually from a Crafter's Companion tote bag that I also sampled. So I used that for here, and I just had a sample bag that I keep all my extras, spare pieces that I really play around with really don't care about so I keep that around so I can just add it and what I did with these little um, pieces I just cut up some glitter paper this is not the glitter paper I use but I just use some glitter paper and these are like little spare pieces and just get your your little punch out matter of fact I have different design punches too that I can also design punches that I can also use too but this one was the closest so I used that one so just get your um, extra glitter paper out that you still have bits and pieces that you can still use without throwing it out right away and so that's what I did to make little dots of glitter and you know you get these little clamps closed clamps um, this is a flower die that I love to use all the time and I think this is a Sizzix, Sizzix um, flower die. And what else I have here? This actually came with the die. And here is the lunchbox die, actually. And this is so cute. And it's a nice size die. So this definitely won't fit in your cuddle bug unless you know how to position your your layers and it comes with all this comes with your layering dies and this is a picture that I saved so see how pretty that is you can really you can really go all out with this die so again I just wanted to see how it cut so if I want to um, make more for craft fairs or for online I can so it came out good. And again, you got your trims, a little flower here, the paper, and I just added the glitter circles here. And again, I just made the size a different paper. And here's the back. And here's the size. And again, this, this was a very easy die to put together. And inside, 
You can use different closure to keep it closed, but I just used the clip here. And again, see how I didn't decorate the inside? Usually I double up and put either a heavier weight like chipboard or something in between my layers just to make the project sturdy. So this one here, again, it was a sample one, so, but I think for now, all my samples I'm going to make sturdy. So just in case, you know, I could sell those at craft fairs also and or just give them out. So again, this was my sample box. And I also want to make one for Valentine's. So let me show you that one. Here's my Valentine's one. I love how this one came out. Again, with the glitter paper. So this one came out cute. Um, I did a little bit on the side. I did a little bit on here. I didn't do anything on the back. Let's see that little bit of glitter. So this was cute. This one, I did make a little... I did double up on it, so. And let me show you the dies that I used. Of course, I used the... Let me show you the inside. See how I made it... The inside, I doubled up and just put chipboard in between my layers. Okay, let me show you the dies that I use. Of course, this part comes with the die to trim, and I just use glitter paper. Now, with this, I did a couple of things. Um, for this, besides the glitter, the bling line here, for this die here on the outside, I used this. Again, I had this in my stash for so long. Um, for... Hold on. For what the heart is sitting on, I tried to use this die, but the heart is the heart was a little big. But I did use one of the layers. I did use one of the layers of the die, but this is a good die. I'm not too sure if I'm going to make any more Valentine's Day samples but maybe if I maybe I try that but I did use this I did use the prop the pop-up die and I did use um, the little ribbon here I'm sorry I'm not in in the view the glitter ribbon so let me show you what I did I did use the big heart but I just trimmed it down because like I said it was extremely too big for this box and here is the pop-up gadget that I sat it on and this is the ribbon that I just put it on the side and here's the other ribbon so I had so much fun with this die and then I just used some glitter glitter dots and this is how I cut it up I actually cut it up but I used the hole punch to make glitter dots and again I didn't use anything to close it up other than the pin here and I just cut out a little decorations for the side. This is actually another die here. Here's the other die. And then I just put some bling, bling all around, bling. Um, glitter circles here, glitter circles down there. And then for this, here's this die. And I use both the end and the outline of the die. And I just put some glitter dots here. Let me show you the, the other die I used, this one. And again, these all dies I had in my stash that I barely used. And here is how it cuts. And again, those dies, you can, you can just um, Google heart dies and just pick out which one is reasonable for you to pay for. And again, there's so many. You could Google pretty much anything now. And this is my sample heart box. And I love how this came out with the glitter. came out really nice. So this is it. I have two more projects that I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for that. And I think this is it. So yeah, this is my Valentine's project. This is my first time actually doing. And even early. Getting it done early. So again, guys, 
Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry it's not on a a level table. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay blessed. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye.